Are you struggling with the F-15 and Falcon BMS or just want to learn it really quickly? This video will go over a simple air-to-air -air engagement and introduce you to the new systems and symbology that the F-15 has to offer. If your HUD looks like this, use this button switch here. Click it, it'll make it in the center just because of the, the winds aloft. It'll move your vele uh, velocity to the left or to the right. Need that fixed? Just click that button right there. So moving between your two sensors is a very important task when you're in air-to-air uh, -air combat. But make sure you get your castle switches mapped. So to move your sensor of interest from your radar to your multi-purpose display, you need to press the castle switch down. It'll move it down. If you move it up, it'll move it back up to the radar. When you're down on that multi-purpose display, you can zoom in. So if you press castle switch right, it'll zoom in on the center of the screen where you are. Press it right again, it'll go back to where it was. If you use castle switch left, it'll zoom in where the cursor is. I've seen a couple ways here. Uh, seems like it needs to be fixed, but number two is, is two, and your second element is, is both three. You can't really tell who is four at this moment. The number at the bottom is their altitude. You have the compass rows around here, going from north, east, south, and west. Got your chaff and flare right here. And then your bullseye that you are at. This is your current bullseye. This is where you are. So make sure not to get your steer points confused with your bullseye. The bullseye is an empty triangle seen here. Usually it's away from your steer point so you don't get confused, but in this case it is close by. Steer lines yellow here when it comes to which steer line, which steer point you are connected to or uh, active steer point. You press the plus and minus on the, on the number pad. So right now I'm going to go to steer point 4, see how it disappeared. It goes to 5, steer point 5. How you know which steer point you're connected to is right here. Go down one to steer point four, up to steer point five. But notice these two circles here. So I can bump outwards, it'll go to 120 degrees. I can bump up, it'll go to 160. It'll increase and decrease my 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 scope. To go to 60, you need to go down here to your r radar controls. You need to manipulate this azimuth scan switch. I'm gonna go back one to 60 degrees, and it'll put it into 60 degrees. While you're here, you can still manipulate this. And then you'll go keep going back and forth between 20 and 120. I'm going to move the throttles out the way here. So this elevation scan is the amount of bars that you're using. So you can go from one bar all the way to eight bars. So I have this mapped as a button on my keyboard. I'm going to go back here. And it actually increases as one bar, as two bar, as three bar, four, and then six. So you can see down here it changes. Or eight, I mean. So eight bars here. And the, the amount of space airspace and volume of air being searched is a very a lot because it's eight bars. I'll go down to four bars here. It says four and it goes through each one. Also, don't forget about your SLU, your antenna elevation. I have that set as my TMS switch on my, on my Thrustmaster Warthog, but you can set it to whatever you want. But I do have a radar contact here. It is friendly. Once you, once you pull your, your cursor over it, it'll give you the, the altitude right here on the left. So before you lock onto anything, make sure you're in air-to-air -air mode. So you click this right here to get out of nav mode. That'll put you in air-to-air -air mode. Once you're in air-to-air -air mode and you want to shoot something, make sure you put the master arm on. And now you're able to lock stuff up. So now I'm just going to highlight this by coolly switch up. Be able to highlight it. So there's a highlight there. Gives it a star. Gives it some symbology here. Gives the vector line there so it's coming towards me. If you want to lock on to it, STT, uh, hard lock, you have to click the cursor switch and the cursor button, actually lock on to it, and you can tell that it, that it locked on because this cursor is not moving back and forth anymore. If you want to unlock, you press your multifunction switch, depress it, and it goes away from it, and it unlocks. Also, when you're locked on to something, you see the blue line, it also locks on to whatever you're locked on to. Unlock this completely. Saw some targets out there. See these these yellow symbology here on the data link. So they're dotted. So I don't have them on radar. Zoom out a little bit more. See if I can find them. So there they are. They're 21,000 feet. I'm actually going to put this into the 60 degrees scan. Right now I'm going to highlight them. So I highlighted them, 
This over here, these vertical bars mean that it is jamming. So something's jamming on that side. As you can see, it's going to start turning red. That means that it's hostile. AWACS has determined that it's hostile. And to have data link, you need to have AWACS available or else you just won't get anything. I'm going to focus on this group right here. Of course, the aspect right here, same as the F-16. The circle is small, so it's not a good shot right now. You need to at least wait till this first uh, first thick line here. Right now, it looks like they're splitting. I'm trying to get a lock on onto them here. So now I'm almost at the maximum. He's starting to turn away. I'm just going to fox now. So there's a fox. I'm going to come off to the to the left to to crank him to the left. There's a lock from him. There's a missile there. I'm going to defend. Use the paddle switch. I could do off uh, some chaff. Got 47 seconds till uh, till that. It doesn't coast as much as the F-16 does, so you just have to kind of guess. Do some more chaff. Going to keep the speed up. I'm going uh, almost Mach 1 right now. Keeping that speed up. And it defeated the missile. If you want more F-15 updates, make sure to subscribe, like, and ask any questions in the comments below. I will try to reply and answer all of them. Thanks. See ya.